They were in high school when they met And things got kind of awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper started writing probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining or something cliche like ooh baby I only want you it's true and then he said I wrote you a love song and I tried to make it Beautiful. It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moon They kept on dancing Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. Today's video, I'm bringing you guys along with me as I do like a day in the life type of thing. But this day in the life, I'm on a mission. I was doing some scouring on the internet looking for some ideas for like my laundry room area because I've drawn a blank as to what to do with that like entryway area. Um, I have shutters up there, but those were never meant to be permanent. I never thought that I was going to leave them there. I always knew I was going to do more with it. But the issue with the space um, has proven to be a little bit difficult because it's such a tight space. So I'm having issues trying to figure out what exactly I can do there. Because um, there's a lot of things I want to do there but uh, that I can't because of space purposes. But I found something on the internet and it looked a little like this. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love those. They won't fit in my area that I need them to fit in, but I love those. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I could just buy them and like work with it. And I went to click <laughs> the picture and the price <laughs> was almost a thousand dollars. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> not happening. <laughs> there for a minute, I forgot who I was. There for a minute, I forgot I am fearfully created. I am, and I am married to awesomely created who awesomely creates a lot of things. And I was like, hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some thinking in it. And I was like, shame. So I grabbed shame. And I sat him down. I was like, this is what I want. I showed him the picture. And I was like, do you think we can do like something like this? Not not exactly because that's totally out of our price range. Um, that's totally out of our scope of practice, you could say, too, with like the glass work and stuff. I said, but do you think I could use plexiglass and actually build a door that looks similar to this? Not the same thing, but has the same vibe. And it got us to thinking... He sat down, got out his trusty paper, drew me up a thing, did measurements, and I was like, we might can make this happen. So this is not future Marina. I'm not saying we succeeded in making it happen. We might actually very well fail at this. <laughs> um, this is, I don't know. I, the thought of it is awesome. But can we take it from paper and put it onto the wall? I don't know. But we're sure as heck going to try because we ain't afraid of trying stuff over here. So we're going to try and see if we can make it look cool. I mean, if we could save 900 bucks and make a door that looks similar but smaller that fits in my space, I think that'll be a win. So, I don't know. I'm not going to call it yet. 
I'm just gonna say Jesus be with us and we're gonna get started. So reeling it back in for a minute, when I approached Shane with this, I said, listen, I know that it can't be as big and heavy duty as these are because our drywall cannot take it. Listen, we put a thumbtack in our drywall and it's, it's over, it's done with, it's so dramatic. <laughs> but I wanted the vibe, I wanted that dark wood, I wanted that, that blunt handle and I wanted those panels, but I didn't, I knew that the textured glass wouldn't be possible with plexiglass, that's what we're using. And I knew that the frame couldn't be as bulky as this one, but simplifying it down to the color and the style is what I really wanted anyway. And this is Future Marina, by the way. And let me just tell you, we aced it. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> we aced it. It turned out really beautiful. But just keep in mind, it is a simpler, it's a simpler version of this picture. These were the shutters that came with the home originally. It was very simple and I really liked it. It was like clean, but I wanted something with more character. I wanted it to be more open in here and not so closed off from the dining room and kitchen. Call me crazy, but I'm making it open. <laughs> Meaning with all this laundry here, if I don't keep up with my laundry, you're gonna see a bunch of laundry. So it gives me an incentive to keep up with my laundry at least. So Shane just took the doors off. Um, this bar here, it's a farm door. It's like the farm door hardware. I did not buy it for this area in particular. I actually bought it when I had originally planned to do our, ex our exposed pantry with doors and on this wall over here. So we had to make this work. It is a, like two inches smaller than what we need. Um, but I've had it too long for me to be able to return it and we're just going to work with it. We're just, we're just literally, we are just flying by the seats of our pants with this. And I don't know what it's going to end up looking like, but we're just going to go with it and not think twice about it. We're going to get this hung up into the wall and then start on the door. I'm on the train headed back to Indiana. The rain is forming into rivers outside Writing down all the things that I miss And in the letters you take form No, I won't go back tonight With a habit to the restless me I'm leaving all that stuff behind We can start all over In our So what Shane did is, we just took, what size is that? This here is a five foot, one fourth inch piece of wood. What he said, we just took one of those, I stained it. I stained it with Jacob bean and we're putting it there in between the battens because there's battens on top of this edge trim. That's what I was talking about, the piece being too long. Because the battens are at the, this trim. That's what I was talking about, the, the rod being too short. But we're gonna make it work. It's gonna, oh, I'm not gonna say it's gonna look fine. I don't know if it's gonna look fine. <laughs> but I have all the trust in the world. And him. Hey, we got stud right here. Cause I need something to hold that But that is stained with Jacobian. Or Jacobian, or Jacobian. Take right? your finger and hold it. You can't can't you. <laughs> <laughs> Reach. Oh. Ah. It could be this barn door hardware on Amazon. I'm not going to link it down below though because the instructions Shane told me specifically not to link it below because the instructions were so complicated. They made you want to impale yourself with the hardware where it was so complicated. So just know there's tons of options on Amazon for barn door hardware. This one I believe I spent $60 on. I got it for a bit of a bargain compared to other hardware and that's probably why it was so difficult. <laughs> Y'all look! Shane did the angles for the first time and he did them so good. You did amazing. <laughs> Was it hard? Yeah. 
<laughs> he was out there just working away though. So this door is gonna be half of that size because I where see the bar there, I can't bring it out any further to put two doors and I can't bring it out to like go beyond the walls because the there's literally just a little bit of room right there past the, the opening. So what I'm doing is I'm putting that there and then I'll just be moving it from one side to the other. Um, so like it'll just be one door and when I need to be on this side, I'll be moving it over that way. When I need to be on this side, I'll be moving it over that way. And it'll work out that way because um, right now saving up for the matching uh, washer to my dryer and they stack. So I'll put that on this side or on that side and then I'm going to do a whole different thing on the opposite side so I only need one side at a time it'll also help for me to keep it open like that because it will you know make me want to do my laundry so my laundry's not hanging out in front of everybody <laughs> but this door is 28 inches wide and how tall Shane 81 81 inches tall this these are thicker so the foot the footer and the header they're thicker than the side uh, pieces. The side pieces are... Oh, they're three and a half wide. So they're one by three? And they're three and a half, and these are five and a half. Have they half? say when you go, when you yeah, when you go there, it says one by four and one by six. I measured it. No, that's three and a half. That's five and a half. Huh. So... Okay, so keep that into account whenever you go to Lowe's. He measured it, and it's not actually one by four and one by six. It's one by three and a half and one by five and a half. So these are one by five and a half. Those are one by three and a half. The tricky part is getting this to look like that picture I showed you guys in the beginning. It's obviously not going to look identical. It's not going to look as high class, you know, as that. But it's going to look as trailer park version high class as it possibly, as we can get it. Now, it's your turn. What? Stain time. Now it's time for me. you're not gonna build it first? Nope. I finished staining, the, staining that. I got it on a puppy pad so it don't get on the floor. Hey, I, you guys remember the days when I didn't even go as far as to put that much effort in. I just got it all over the floor. We're growing here. <laughs> we're learning. But I got all this stained. What we're going to do for the panels is we're going to use these, which is similar to the trim that you see here on the edge of my, and right here on my exposed pantry we're gonna use those i've got to spray paint those black though um to get that like look that i'm going for the black spray paint i got i had shane run at walmart and get it for me is this rust-oleum flat black um it's supposed to bond even to plastic wood metal and everything so um Oh, it's got the paint and primer. Cool. I haven't ever used this kind. I've used Rust-Oleum spray paints before, but I've never used this particular kind, especially in the flat. I don't opt for flat very often, but since I was going more for like the pain look, I mean, look at those paints. Like they don't look very shiny. So we're going to do that real quick. So this, you can't even see it. This is my friend. <laughs> he says hi. He's hi, there, I friend. promise. <laughs> so this is the plexiglass. Um, it's the optics 
Plascolite. Oh gosh, oh! <laughs> what I'm gonna get it! <laughs> That's what we're using for the window because we're kind of broke and we can't afford actual glass. So this just makes everything easier and it makes it more budget friendly. 23 and a half. So right now it is the size hot that we need, but we need to cut it down width wise. So, so please, oh please, oh please, saw, please saw work. <laughs> so it'll fit in the door frame. Oh, I hope my saw works. If it doesn't. We're going to like bring it out to like right here on each side and then up there, same thing. Have you ever All right, seen let, wait, 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 let's rain. first pray. Lord Jesus, I know this is just a door. And it's not really that important in the long term of things. But Father, I just ask that, seriously, I just ask that you let this all work because this was a pretty penny. Thank you, Lord. We, we bless your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have you ever seen the rain? Alright. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. I'm smelling the roast though, and it smells banging. But it's kind of tough. I don't know why. I got the hind quarters of the cow, like the what butt. Did you do that one time that made it so I don't. Well, I don't remember. I got the butt, but if this is the butt, it's got buns of steel because it's pretty tough. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is it, this is either going to turn out to be absolutely amazing, or it's going to be the biggest mistake. It's not going to be the biggest mistake of our lives. That's being kind of dramatic. But it will be a pretty big mistake. Because this was the bulk price of the whole entire project. This is what made it as much as it is. Lordy, lordy, These lordy. are my battens that I spray painted. And they are dry. <laughs> Actually, they're not dry. I just got a handful of spray paint. Wait, does that mean that I'm going to get shards in the eye? Okay. You got to hold it up there. Alright, I'm holding it. Oh, I gotta actually hold it. Yeah. Hold on, guys. Hold on, BFFs. Hold on. Wait, we get it. Don't drop your camera. Oh, man, that would be so bad. Okay, be very careful with the saw. It'll vibrate on it. I don't think you're gonna worry about vibrating your camera. Are I you sure? Will you hold this? Yeah. I don't know. Shane, should we got safety glasses? Is it not working? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. No, it, it, it's working. But... Why is he running off the head? He's so dramatic, I swear. He's so dramatic. That's real pretty. I hope I don't mess that up. Can you cut plexiglass? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. I'm super nervous, if you can't tell. This is out on our porch. Do y'all original watchers, do you remember Phyllis? She's probably like, what are them kids out there doing cutting that window with a table saw? You got glasses on. Oh, our whole entire porch is covered in plastic shards. 
We got these special bits from Lowe's that are specifically for, we got these special bits that are specifically to go into plastic glass. I don't know why they made them, because honestly, I didn't think anybody was crazy enough to drill into plastic glass except for us, but apparently it's a thing. Um, I just don't know, I just don't think they use it for doors, but y'all, it still looks so good. So I hope and I have trust that none of y'all are as crazy as I am and will try this. But if there is someone out there, if my people, my people, where you at? If, if one of my persons tries this, <clears throat> get safety glasses. Have an actual saw stand and wear a mask, like a good old mask. Because I feel the plaster glass, place the glass. I feel that coat in my lungs right now. It feels really weird. <coughs> So, I mean, I'm not encouraging this. I'm not encouraging this. <laughs> but if you are going to try this, um, yeah, definitely, definitely get a mask. If not, if nothing else, a mask and glasses. <laughs> okay, so update. Screws did not work. Um, so we're going to go with our next plan B, and that is clear adhesive. Hopefully that will work. <laughs> I have, okay, so we have the adhesive holding the plexiglass on. Shane's gonna build a frame on the outside of the back to kind of reinforce it, which is why I didn't go in and stain that yet. He's gonna put a frame on the back <clears throat> to reinforce it, and hopefully that'll, while the glass, while the plexiglass is curing, 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 while it's curing, <laughs> um, that'll like reinforce it and keep it where it needs to be. So this is kind of what he's doing. He's just building an extra smaller frame around the back of it just to keep that plexiglass steady. This is what it's looking like. We still got to use the adhesive to glue down the panel things. Um, but oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm in love. y'all look how good this looks so it was super tough so i made it like um some kind of soup we're gonna call this fail pot roast soup it looks good that's what matters shane doesn't like broth in his so he gets fail pot roast pot roast, pot roast. <laughs> the kiddos got fail pot roast pot roast <laughs> i'm gonna have soup because it's already dry enough i don't need to <laughs> be dry even on it we're gonna eat this and probably watch Shane watch a movie real quick. Watch a movie while these are drying on that. We have been sitting and eating and watching TV. The kids are still watching TV, and I've been playing with the TikTok filter, making myself look at my brother. Um, but now we're gonna get the door up on these things right here that connect it to the piece up there that we have on the wood so like it goes like this and then it'll slide over we got two of those so right now we're placing these where they go um I, we did have them out out here um but they didn't look right then we had them more in way like on the inside they didn't look right they look pretty good right there i like them right there
staining the back of the door was a little bit harder than I anticipated because like I didn't want to put painters tape on the plexiglass because I didn't know how well it would react to like tape being on it I didn't want to risk it so I had to like hurry up and stain the inside of it and then hurry up and wipe it with a cloth to get the stain off the glass the plexiglass it was a little bit difficult but I mean it ended up looking great I didn't have any issues it was just tedious So this is the final product. It is very simplified like in regards to like the original photo I was going off of, but the vibe is still there. <laughs> um, it is, and it was like super budget friendly compared to the original door. The original door was $1,000 and I don't think that was including the hardware. Um, this door without the hardware, cause I'd had the hardware for a while, it was right at $100. I had most of the lumber and everything. The plexiglass was the most expensive part of this DIY. If I add in the hardware, I'd still be saving myself $800 bucks heck yes oh was it the easiest project we've done no <laughs> was it the funnest no <laughs> but it does bring something to that area that i feel like was lacking while i did like the simplicity of the shutter doors i really like this and i like that it's only one like i said i didn't have room to fit two if i fit two there would be no sliding um but this whenever i'm over here I can have this open and when I'm on this side, I can have this open. It's also an incentive to keep my laundry room clean because <laughs> nobody wants a whole pile of laundry to be shown right there in the out and open. I think I also love it whenever I get the matching washer to my dryer and I stack them on that side. I'm in love with it. I hope you guys have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more and I'll see y'all later.